a sight from the Pennsylvania play. He left school at 15, was down the mines at 16. At 19 he was married and soon I was on the way. At seven and every morning, my mother made him breakfast. Then he'd walk down to the pit head with all the other men. He'd swing his old lunch bucket as she watched him from the window, wondering if this was the day that she would not see him again. His name is Jim Cunningham from Lackawanna County. Like all his childhood buddies, he toiled at digging coal. Risking black lung and cave-ins and flying red-hot splinters and bleeding ruptured eardrums after fire in the hole. While crawling in a shaft one day to hew a brand new coal face, he didn't hear the timbers creak or the rumble overhead. But a hand reached in and grabbed him and pulled him from the tunnel. Just another second later and my dad would have been dead. Well, he finished up his shift. There was no time off for dying. That night he told my mother and she began to keep and moan. She threw his supper on the table. Her eyes were red with crying. Saying, if you go down tomorrow, I won't be here when you come home. So now he drives a truck for a bakery here in Scranton And once a week I help him with deliveries round the town He lived to see us growing and it keeps my mother happy But sometimes I think for one more time he'd love to go back down One morning having coffee and a nearby Dunkin' Donuts An older man came in and sat down not too far away My father brought me over and said shake hands with Ray Hinckley If it hadn't been for him, son, I would not be here today I whispered, thank you, Mr. Hinckley, as I took his hand and shook it My tears fell hot and heavy, so I could scarcely see Put a big hand on my shoulder and pulled me close beside him. Saying, Your dad and I are miners, he'd have done the same for me. My father was a miner, as his father was before him, hacking out the anthracite from the Pennsylvania clay.